My name is Jason Moran at Darling Environmental and Survey. What I'd like to discuss with you in this segment is a common application of 3D laser scanning, which is called building information modeling, otherwise referred to as BIM or BIM. BIM is a process by which you take 3D laser scan data and combine it into a graphical and non-graphical model and create a model from which you can actually measure and chronicle as-built structures. It also encompasses all the building geometry, spatial relationships, and geographic information, as well as quantities and properties of various building components of a structure. Now, one industry which lends itself very well towards building information modeling is the airport industry. As you can imagine, airports are very busy assets and they're in constant state of use, and in many cases, constant states of repair. And as you can imagine, when you're trying to refurbish an airport or expand on an airport, you can't exactly close it down. Traffic still is flying through there, and passengers still want to meet their flights. So building information modeling lends itself towards having a much more efficient process by which construction engineers will actually go and order the work operations as well as reducing the time that it takes for installation and refit. You can see here, this is an example of a particular area within San Francisco Airport. It was essentially, it was a pump room which monitored the pressure and the spreading of water throughout the building through the various pipe works that they had. This was deemed as a mission critical area of the existing terminal, which was going to be added to at a later stage. So what we did here was we took extra effort to model everything that the scanner picked up in it, which is very important. Let's just say hypothetically you wanted to add a new boiler to an area or some existing pipe works through there, and you only have a certain finite amount of space. You want to know if it's going to fit. You can take traditional measures and you can figure out within a, you know, a, a thumb in the, in the wind approach whether or not it's going to fit. But by having it into a CAD model or a Revit or a Navisworks BIM modeling, you can actually virtually install it to see if it does fit. And if you turn, say, an asset in a certain direction, is it going to clash with all the existing assets that we have there? If it does clash, then you can make adjustments accordingly. The way things were done in the old days was you would come in there, and if it clashed, you make it fit, and then you do retrofitting, where you start cutting pipes or knocking down walls. This allows you to eliminate all of those different types of I would say tactical fixes to a situation, which oftentimes isn't very optimal. What you can actually see in here is these pipes and these figures, they seem somewhat cartoonish, but the reality is, is that they're called geometric primitives. They signify things which mean things to engineers. They know what that item is. They know if it's a valve. They know if it's a pump monitor. They know if it's a boiler. This is just a higher level of accuracy than the rest of the structure because it was a mission critical structure. What you can also do is you can also take this one step further and you can actually insert what they call isometrics, which are CAD models already modeled by the manufacturer, which are accurate representations of the actual piece of equipment down to the thread on a nut and bolt. You can put that in there if you want, but many times some people view it as overkill. Uh, in this case, the geometric primitives were very accurate and they were able to identify the key structures and, and to how to figure out the trajectory of various items like conduit work or sprinkler systems, whether or not it would flow through there properly. Darling Environmental and Surveying is one of the leading companies in the United States for 3D laser scanning and building information modeling. If you have any interest in implementing a BIM program to your existing assets or would like to do so for an existing project that you have coming up, don't hesitate to give us a call.